All right, this is just a uh, quick basic review of a uh, Sekonic light meter. It's the L308 DC Digi Cinemate. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, so um, what a lot of people complained about this was how cheap it feels. And I have to be honest, it, it feels real cheap. And I'm not one of those real particular type of people, but I mean... <laughs> If it was too heavy, people would complain it was too heavy, but it's, I'm not going to lie, it's so light that it feels like it's, it, on its good day, best day, it should only cost like $60 just by the feel of it. It just feels like hollow, cheap plastic, and there's no weight to it at all. I feel like um, I, I break it in an instant, uh, I mean, which isn't a good thing, so with that, I do agree with. Um, it has this little sphere here. I don't know the correct name for it, but if you slide this over, you can see that right there. Um, you can basically put another adapter piece on there and that's for measuring light for flat surfaces such as like paintings, pictures on the wall um, or even the wall. Uh, also for like uh, if you're looking for even exposure on an infinite white backdrop or a, uh, a green screen, blue screen, whatever, um, that's what that's used for. There's different modes on here. There's a, a picture mode and there's also a uh, cinematic mode for videographers and that's what this was kind of geared towards and then it still has the photography functions but uh the other one that was in the same price range i can't remember the name of it but it's like it may be like 308 or 300 or 301 or something like that it's pretty much the same price but it doesn't have the uh, video functions let me show you when you to change the, the mode menu you hold mode turn power on then you'll see photo CS1 and it goes up to CS. There's a, cu a custom setting, so it's CS1, CS2, whatever. And um, if you hit mode again, there's a cinematic mode. And that's that's for like uh, videographers. Turn it back off and turn it back on. That's for 24 frames a second. The F stop, ISO. ISO, you just hold ISO and then scroll up and down. Um, and then hit this for the exposure so if we're at 24 frames per second at 100 iso in this light that we're in right now directly um it's 2.2 .2 aperture you know what i mean so i mean that's pretty much it uh this right here is a plug that you can plug in the, the cord straight for the flash for um the strobes and uh get a reading off of it that way